and um, onto my PS2 collection, recommended by um, Martin. And pretty much knew nothing about it. I thought I had all the schmucks on the PS2, but yeah. No, you've got loads to yeah, go. I told yeah, you that. This is, um, yeah. Well, as Tony was going to say, this is my second version of Cybernator this month. <laughs> yes, it is. A, a shiny, shiny version. And we'll talk more about Cybernator now. Mm -hmm. um, Cybernator is actually a pretty hard game. Yeah. It is actually pretty tough. Um, the the bald gentleman behind the camera has actually completed it. Um, <laughs> bald in, I can say. It's, um, not quite there yet, but he's getting there. Um, but yeah, um, Chris has completed it. And it's hard. Assault Suits Falcon and the PS2, which is like, I would keep in mind this is like HD remake, and it's like, yeah, it's, it's an SD remake, you yeah. know, it's um, you'd like it, a HD remake, you just uh, download it, it's 10 megs in size, yes, file size, and add on to the computers, um, yeah, it's 10 meg, yes, yeah, it's a bit yeah, yeah. I wonder if that's yeah. the same. Press bot, press your shield yeah, a lot. it's all the same. It, it's all pretty much the same. But so it's like, like, shoot a couple of times. Yes, yeah, it's a lot harder. Shoot yeah. a couple of times. It's the same, block. but it's a lot harder. Your weapons seem to do much less damage. Much less damage. Um, you can probably, you know, you probably sort of see it. I mean, if he gets all artsy, you can do a comparison. Do one here and one there. Did you play the same levels? Did you? Yeah, same level. Well, in that case, fuck it. Watch them. See what you see. see what <laughs> yeah. you think. Yeah, no. You know. We have PC version on Tony's side, mm. and this next version on my side. Or you can have like the PS2 version, a few seconds, and then you wait, and then you have the SNES version for a few seconds, and then you see clips edit and get it lots more. But yeah, um, it's a really good game. I mean, that is a really. I mean, most people don't even know that's out. You know, oh, I knew I knew it existed, but I wasn't sure what it was. You know, mm. um. And it looks nice. Um, seems to play fairly well, but it's just so hard. I mean, if you are a big Cybernator fan, really recommend trying. If you if you finish Cybernator, you know, like back of your hand, try it. You know, it's, it's an eight quid game. It's an eight quid game, so it's, it's not as pricey as some of the other schmucks I want. But yeah, I mean, I picked mine up from Amazon. I got the uh, Bing Bing ones in stock, really cheap. Yeah, bye, bye, bye. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we love Amazon wishlist. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, onto some of the garbage I bought. Um, everybody's tennis. There's one good game. Yeah. Uh, I bought this quite a while back. Well, um, because he really needs another tennis game. Yeah. He doesn't have enough tennis games. I don't. I need more than well. When I originally bought this, I bought it from Chatham, and I got home and had everybody play the golf this in it. So I wasn't oh, going yes. to drive all the way back up there. But no, I have everybody's golf. So I wasn't going to drive all the way back up there for 75p. It's now everybody's coaster. Yeah. Yeah. Another one. Yeah, uh, charity shop find. Airblade. Really early PS2 game. Yeah. Um, if it was Back to the Future <laughs> and we could grind. Um, it was more. This is more like sort of like twirl around, not knowing the controls, face planting the floor simulator, as will be shown by Michael. It's an SNX <laughs> tricky wannabe, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what about the Definitely even in that yeah. era, you know. Um, Frank Herbert's Dune. It's got a big worm in it. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, the film would be better. <laughs> to be honest, um, you, I, I, I kind of, I knew it was really bad. Yeah, you, it's I, a, a I, unique I, game developed by widescreen games. Yeah. Mm, that's a worry. <laughs> I adore like the, um, the Command & Conquer real-time strategy versions, mm -hmm. which basically come before Command & Conquer and are what Command & Conquer is based on. I knew that license. Mm. Um, Come on, quick. But that is, in all frankness, the, the acting is fucking appalling. The character models are bad. The gameplay is weird. It's stinging it. Um, no, I mean, it's all kind of like a cartoonized oh, sort right, of yeah. thing. Um, I did skip like the, um, like the uh, tutorial. Um, but. I think the tutorial sort of set up like some of like the beginning of the story. Uh, I have read a few of the books. I have read a few of the books. Um, but I've got a bit that was after seeing the movie, so yeah. that, that's kind of coming up. I saw the long version of the movie on sci fi a while back. It was such a good film, but ugh, try and keep yourself awake during it. All I can say about it, well, it's not the proper version. No, probably proper version is even longer, isn't it? Seven and a half hours yeah. the original cut of that. Uh. Um, which they've lost, didn't they? They've lost, yeah, they've lost it. Yeah, they've lost it all. It's like seven and a half hours. 
the, the way they used to store things in the old very days. very popular in Germany mm. hugely popular in Germany and on to Warhammer 40,000 Fire Warrior um, I'd probably say one of the best exclusive first person shooters on the PSP but that isn't saying much because there really weren't many good ones you know, you know Killzone was kind of average as well um, exclusive by yeah there wasn't yeah really exclusive point yeah. black fantastic first person shooter I mean, even, I, I'm so impressed with black on the PS2 because oh. it runs like a 360 game with the limitations of the PS2 so it's very impressive um, it's actually based on Warhammer, that one. Yes, it is. It's based on the Fire War, war, war Warrior thing. So you're not actually a space marine, you're this Different alien race yeah. thing. I've read to, some of the books. <laughs> you have to go and avenge it. Yeah, you're only allowed to read Warhammer books if you're listening to death metal. Yeah. On really yeah. loud <laughs> Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, that is kind of the basic. Thing. You're avenging the, you know, the kidnapping or whatever it is, and rescue the dude. It, it's, it's very sort of generic, but and it's very dated. Mm. Um, it, it's very dated now. Um, but I still recommend it if you, if you like old first-person shooters and you kind of enjoy those sort of things. But some people do. But it's, if you're gaming on a budget, yeah. Yeah. So the gaming on a budget for a PS2 now, especially with so many PS2 games in CEX, you yeah, know, 50p, yeah, or 50, 75. Anything. P. I mean, I think the most we've seen is like 15 quid, but that's just a really stupid, stupid collection. I've seen a couple of twenty. Yeah, couple. But I mean, if you have a really strict budget, you haven't got much money. You could pick yourself up a PS2 for about 20 quid, and I get yourself a memory card, a couple of pads, and you could get a nice huge stack of games for a tenner. Yeah. A really yeah. nice huge stack of games for a tenner. And they'll keep you occupied for ages and instead of like spending four hundred pounds on a machine and then fifty pounds for a game just to <laughs> be done in five hours. Um, yes. yeah. But uh, super trucks with basically poker on steroids is what everyone told me. Who was it? Ah, that's alright. Yeah. It's very sort of sewage. It's very very sewish. Yeah. It, it, it's it's a truck way. racing game. Yeah. I mean, is there an ice level so we can tell that ice road truckers? No. Uh, <laughs> There is a game to that, I saw Yes, there is. There is. And I actually, I, yeah, mobile. Yeah. yeah. I think I'll be on the DS as well. Yeah. I'm sure. Um, the thing is that you drive a truck, it all feels really floaty. Really, yeah. Because you drive a truck. You know. Whereas yeah. it should feel heavy and. <laughs> well, no, because you know, with a car, you've got a tight feel and spank, and you've got the wheels of it. Yeah. Where a truck, it's just like a big floaty thing, you know? Mm. And they've kind of got that in there, so. Um, you sort of don't turn the corner, you hit it and yeah. just carry on. Well, it's drifting around the corner in something that would kind of like, you know, you could kill a bus full of people. Is kind of See right. what you were saying? Yeah. Mm. Another, um, not one of my favourite series, but a series I enjoy, you know, Bloody Raw 3. It's still, I still, I'd still pass it as being an underrated series. Mm. It's still underrated. Because quality 3D beat ups were very few. Just in the side. Well, very few and far between, you yeah. know. Uh, especially on like, so, you know, the, the PlayStation, there was Tekken and Dead or Alive, and I think Soul Blade and Asuka, you know, or Soul Edge. Yeah. Um, and that's about it. I mean, there were a couple of interesting ones, like Star Gladiator, which was still pretty good, but not good. And um, to bow number one and number two, which was also fun to learn by. But Bloody War definitely goes into that category, that sort of secondary category mm -hmm. of, of like sort of stuff that's pretty good, but, but not amazing. But still good for a few pounds. You know, if you never play it, there's plenty of characters to learn, plenty of stuff to do, plenty of endings to learn, plenty to watch, and just play a few more games and a few times. I played the Queen version quite a bit because I got a cube version last year sometime, mm -hmm. and I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed it when I found the Xbox. So. I think what the Xbox version was cool no. though. The problem with the Xbox version is it was so loose. Yeah. I mean, you, you, your combos didn't feel like you were ever actually making a difference to the yeah. buttons you were pressing. Yeah, yeah. on to... Um, <laughs> this looks like it should be a radio advert from the 1940s. Yeah. They came from the skies! <laughs> they came from the skies! <laughs> and, um, yeah, very... What I gather from the pictures, very sort of Independence Day, I don't know, we played it. So. Basically, so they took a crappy flight sim and they put a bunch of UFO garbage in Flying saucers? <laughs> How can you go wrong with flying saucers? The thing is though... Richard should play, he's got flying saucers in it. The thing is, it's basically... 
you video game. Mm. You can design and make whatever you want. All I can say is, why the fuck are the hubcaps in there? You know. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's got flying hubcaps in it. You know. Um, no, I mean, maybe, maybe that, that's, that might be the way they actually connect to the mother slip. Mother slip. Mother slip. Mothership. You know, yeah, that would be quite interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> it well, like fun. big intergalactic spinners. Yeah. 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 Copper rim. <laughs> we 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 rolling on nine twenties. You know, yeah, it's like yeah. yeah. You know. Aliens in the hood. Uh, yeah. That was kind of a very strange accent. <laughs> and on to what's making Tony extremely this happy this month. Part of <laughs> garbage. Oh I paid two pounds, yay! The crazy frog racer game. He moans a lot, so I like to give him shit to no, moan about. No, no. I started moaning. Because he kept buying <laughs> shit. Yeah. And I buy more shit. If you me, couldn't get enough, enough. ring a ding 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 dong 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 dong. Yeah. You always have to be caught copyrighted and videos yeah. out there. Oh. Guaranteed. Well, it's not Nintendo, so there's a chance it might stay up there. Yeah, I could not ever imagine actually playing this myself. Um, definitely should be a mobile phone joke. Yeah, mobile phone game even. Mm. It but probably it was. Does include the crazy frog music, so. Um, yeah. Has he got his penis or have they blurred it out? Are you looking at him from behind? So you can't use it. Oh, right, okay. No, like a little bump there. It's basically like, um, sort of, I would say Mario Kart, but it's not, I, I would say it was more like Wipeout. It feels yeah. more like I would say, yeah, yeah floatingness. Yeah. Things I have played in the past a long time. Because basically, when the ringtones was out, everyone was buying it. And there was Oh, Everyone was damn idiot. Yeah. yeah, it's the one from. I think the... it's an interesting thing to have. It's just, mm. just as this kind of um, mind, it's like naughty, I should say. Yeah. Um, sort of thing, and people would say, "What the fuck's that?" It's like you have to explain why people liked it, and you can't because it was awful. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 I mean, they've shoved a bit of Axel F in it later on, and you know, it's just. Uh... But yes, so on, he knows. On to Tony's month of depression. <laughs> um, yeah, I finally finished it. My Mr. Bones. Uh, I'd had enough of just wanting one title. I, I, but I still, always completes that in collection yeah. before anyone sort of gets confused. For I, um, I paid like 102 pounds basically, which is still a good 50 below what it's been going for. Um, I know, and even though I'm probably going to find it, we're never going to find something like this in the wild. Um, on the sites, on the Facebook groups lately, there has been so many Sega Saturn collectors coming. It's coming out of the wild, and um, not being horrible, pure shit games that were going for 30 or 40 are starting to hit the 100 mark now. And Courier Crisis, which I paid um, £70 for, that's nearly, two, that's over £200 now. And it, it's an okay, it's an entertaining game, but it's... It's pretty uh, bad. Yeah, it's, it's it's nothing you if you saw it in a bargain bin for a five or a tenner and like, yeah, I'll give it a go. You wouldn't never pay forty quid. It's for like it. that. I wouldn't pay two pound. Oh, yeah. I honestly wouldn't pay. You could pay two pound get the PlayStation. <laughs> I yeah. honestly wouldn't pay two pound for this it. This is it's... famed for being as hard as bollocks. I mean, did you find it hard? It's just annoying. It's yeah. no fun to play. It's no yeah. fun to play. It's kind of like a platform game, but it actually uses, I think, FMV as the background. Yeah. The background's actually got FMV, and you kind of like have some like foreground stuff is actual stuff and you jump over it and every time you get hit you lose like, body parts so you're like, just this skull uh, bouncing along yeah uh, yeah um well the thing is i needed to finish my satin collection bar a few manuals manuals is for satin collection finish now uh it's a shame that the last game wasn't actually a good game and that i needed wasn't a good game my, my kickstart to my collection is what got me going. I, mean, I started off with 180 games for below, and that was a lot of the £100 plus games in it. Mm. So it was just my, my reason to start a collection was basically to finish my Saturn collection. It's finished, now I'm done. That's it, real finished, fuck off. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's still quite a few. I mean, I want, I want to get that Marvel Capcom 1 and 2 and JoJo's and the Dream Cross, but they're going for too much. Um, on the sites, every format, bar the PS2, I must say. Every format, by the PS2, even original Xbox, and now the prices are rocketing up. And the, as, as we, we spoke a little while ago about it, about a lot of the funds being taken out. But we, we, we spent um, eight hours on, which you watched that video, on a trip out recently. 
well, it was a good entertaining day, but it wasn't like the good old days mm. when we used to go. We saw some stuff we wanted, but they were so unrealistically priced. The biggest problem, for example, game, for example, yeah. aren't doing really any PS2 anymore. Mm. Uh, we used to get loads of them. We used to get a lot yeah. of decent stuff. And PSP, but yeah. they've stopped doing them as well. You get these, they're in the bargain thing, but the expenses. Stop that, you know. Yeah. They're Wii stuff, they used to have very reasonable, very good priced Wii stuff. Mm. That's, you know, they either just don't have it, or if they do have it, it's expensive again. I noticed how cheap some of the Zeldas are on the Wii as well, because I, I got the impression they were going to be, yeah, really oversaturation. expensive. Uh, oversaturation, there's just, they, they just sold too many. Mm. Uh, I think Mario Kart is still a bit pricey on the, uh, on the Wii, for what it is. And yeah. also like Mario collections and stuff. All, all the all proper Mario games are still quite expensive. Mm. Um, One thing I would like, I mean, put in the comments below, guys, if you can, is basically through what, what you get from collecting. I mean, Tony, Tony play, gets them because he has games he wants to play and games for those players. To start off, if I was getting, I was getting a few games I wanted to play that I wanted to fill to get more collections and stuff. But as we're dwindling down to the so expensive time of life now, um, I'm kind of looking. At just getting the good games now. There's so many shooters. The biggest problem the is Jap I yeah. started getting so. filler mm. because I bought a new shelf unit and I needed to fill the space. Mm. Then Mr. Oh, I take that as a competition. Started going out and he bought already had units. no, you, you yeah. already had full shelf units yeah. when you started stuff buying yeah. all that bloody mm. filler and for yeah. no reason. You know. Um, I think it's just more of a case of content bulk up, this is what I've got. But yeah, um, I put some of my Mega Drive stuff on, I put some of my PS2 stuff on, and I find it intriguing, but I don't play the stuff that's, you know, you have to dedicate time to. I play Bash stuff. Uh, I find it, re I do find it really, really enjoyable. There's, the, the thing is, the games I find enjoyable the most from the past are the games that I also played to death in the past. So, so I'm, 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 I'm not exactly the opposite. Mm. I'm not exactly the opposite. The games that I get and buy and play yeah. are the ones that I didn't bother with mm. back then. I didn't get a chance to and those are the ones i want why do i want to play a game i've already played to death i've played to death yeah. don't want it mm. you know i mean i might like to you know perhaps a video on youtube or you know if it's a game that is just fun and i could happily replay then i generally will get it yeah um but for a majority of games i i don't have any interest in playing it. i've already played it um unless they're great big black carts and they say neo geo on them yeah, but even then, generally, I haven't actually had the cartridge version. Mm. Makes it CD in the day, weren't it? Mm. Lots of CDs. Mm. Much fun. So, um... Yeah. But anyway, tell us below why you collect and uh, what you're thinking of the collecting in general these days, because it's getting really crazy expensive. Well, the collecting seems sort of strange, you know. Mm. So many people basically try to turn a profit now. Right? Yeah. Everybody's trying to turn a profit. Yeah. And it's old, it's worth money. The mentality is there. Yeah. Mm. And the worst thing is like ill informed people that are trying to turn, you know. Yeah. Um, I've got um, Mario on <laughs> Mario on Yeah, I've got Mario on the Nets. It's worth a thousand pound. Yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> no, it's not. Um, um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. It's January done with. Um, in February, we've got a few good visits. We've um, got Geek coming up, so don't forget to watch and bring your stews <laughs> before you mention it. And um, I wasn't going to make anything about bringing stew, yeah, or yeah. soup, yeah, exactly. or consomme. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to be hitting that up. And uh, from what I gather, our friend Retro Dunk's going to be joining us in the background. Take care, like the channel, subscribe if you fancy it.